strongly uh, want to achieve justice for the victims and their families in these cases. Tonight, a man is under arrest here in San Diego for the murder of a woman in Florida that happened nearly 40 years ago. Donald Michael Santini was taken into custody in Campo yesterday. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us on this Friday. I'm Marcella Lee. This morning, Santini appeared in a downtown courtroom for an extradition hearing. CBS 8's Shannon Handy has details on that and his alleged crime. Shannon. Today's hearing was over whether or not Donald Michael Santini is the man wanted for that murder, which happened back in 1984. He admitted he is, so now he'll be extradited back to Florida to answer to charges. This is a picture showing the moment San Diego Fugitive Task Force members took Donald Michael Santini into custody. The arrest happened yesterday in Campo, thousands of miles away from where he allegedly killed 33-year-old Cynthia Wood nearly 40 years ago. You are the person that is wanted in the state of Florida, is that correct? Yes, sir. Santini appeared in a San Diego courtroom today. We were ordered to hide his face. He waived extradition, meaning he'll be brought back to Florida, though he shared this concern with a judge. I do, and I just don't feel safe because of the families. Your Honor, at this time, Mr. Santini is prepared to sign the three waiver forms. Public defender Douglas Miller explained what happens next. Now Florida has 30 days to come and get him. He sits at no bail. Beyond that, no specific details were shared about Santini, including whether or not he lived in Campo, had an alias, or how he was tracked down after all these years. Here's what we do know. The victim's body was found floating in a roadside ditch outside Tampa, Florida. She had been strangled to death. This is video from the crime scene back in 1984. At the time, neighbors expressed shock. I have three young daughters my own, and uh, I'm very upset about it. Detectives combed the area for evidence. Soon after, Santini, who was 26 years old at the time, was named a suspect. Investigators initially believed he may have fled to Texas, where he was wanted for aggravated robbery. The victim was last seen by a family member in the company of Satini. He's eluded officials ever since. Regarding his arrest, a spokesperson for the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office in Florida told CBS 8, We are aware of his arrest and have sent detectives to interview Santini while we await extradition. This arrest allows us to re-examine evidence collected in 1984 using the technology of today as the case is now considered open once again. San Diego Deputy District Attorney Michael Running Jr., who represented the county in court this morning, says while the case will not be tried here, he hopes justice will finally be served. Regardless of whether the case just happened yesterday or in this case it's something that's 40 years old, we want to make sure the victims get some resolution for the loss of their loved ones. Coincidentally, today is Santini's 65th birthday. It's also the anniversary of the day the victim's body was found. For CBS 8, I'm Shanna Handy. Thanks, Shannon. And if you would like to read more about the cold case, you can head to our website, cbs8.com, or follow CBS 8 on social media for the very latest developments.